Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Kila Chari Torah's Daily Sphere at the Omer, counting the Omer with opportunities for spiritual growth from Monday, May 16th. Last night we counted 30 days of the Omer, Hayom Shloshim Yom Shehem Arba Ashavois Ushnei Yamim La Omer. For day 30, the uh, Sphere a combination is Givura Shebahoid, to uh, discipline in humility. Typically, we don't think of humble, modest people as being all that strong. But if we really think of the true meaning of humility, of modesty, it should actually bring out quite a, a, a remarkable type of strength, a passion for and a focus on what we want to do and bring to the world. A passion that's all about me and the causes I'm passionate about because of my own agenda uh, and what works for me is not the type of passion we're necessarily talking about. Hod means that I'm humbled. I see the world as connecting to God and all my features, all my qualities have been given to me from Hashem to do uh, what uh, God wants. It's not only about being passionate or strong, it's about meaning something to me because of what they mean to Hashem, so to speak, or because what they should mean to me as an agent of Hashem's will. I want to try that much more to see the world through the godly lens. So let's examine the strength that we exercise when we pursue our humility ignited passion. Sometimes you meet a parent who's meek and shy by nature, they, but they become very tough when advocating for their child. How does that come to be? It's not a contradiction. They're humbled by the fact that they have that role and they know that it's theirs to put their all into. I was given the role of being this child's parent, so I need to do something. Each of us is a, is a son or daughter of, uh, of God's children, the parent of God's children, the sibling of God's children. It's humility that dictates that each of our roles was given to us in a very unique and personal way. So it must be our job to fulfill those roles in the way they need to be done. Think of the uh, model of Esther Hamalka, Queen Esther. Esther was a heroine. She led a tragic life. When I see little girls dressed up on Purim, uh, writes Mrs. Jurovel, she, and they say, I want to be Queen Esther. She says, she thinks to herself, you know, you really don't. You don't want to be Queen Esther. Esther herself didn't want to be Queen Esther. She lived her life in the palace of a monster forced to, uh, to have his child. It's hard to fathom. Yet the greatness of Esther lay in the fact that she revealed her Hester, her innermost strength. How did she come to all that? Her message is a strength to all of us. She achieved her uh, mission by tapping into Gevura, into strength, which comes from our humility, even if we don't feel naturally strong, even if we don't uh, want to be where we are. And she goes through a description of, uh, of this in more detail. For those particularly interested in uh, the story of Queen Esther and the Megillah, Megillah's Esther Purim, please take a look uh, on day 30 here uh, in the book. Call to action for today. Make a mental list of the talents and abilities you have or ways you could be of service or that you have not been, uh, that you have not been utilizing. Take one small step, one phone call, one message towards putting one of them to good use. If this feels uncomfortable, check yourself for fears that have talked you out of moving forward. Acknowledge them as real, then assure yourself that you can take at least one small step even with the fear still in place. Visualize making one small step, then another, then another, until you've reached the end goal, even while carrying your fears along with you. By the time you get there, you may be surprised to find that they have retired. May we find it so. Have a good day. Join us again tomorrow.